The Formula E World Championship is racing here in Hyderabad in India for the first time and we are here to get you some exclusive coverage. And being the geeks that we are, when given a chance, we did some digging around in the garages. Mr. James Rossier, the team principal of Maserati MSG Racing Formula E team. The team technical director of Mahindra Racing Team, Mr. Lewis Butler. And we have Martin with us, who is the master garage tow guide for Nissan. We asked them questions about the tech that goes behind Formula E cars. Here's what they had to say. How far down the line in the future do you see cutting edge technology from Formula E cars, especially the Gen 3 cars? making their way into road cars. Okay, so I, I think the first topic there is mainly around software. So strategies to do with how the energy is used, particularly during the race in these cars, is really relevant. And something that will transfer possibly more quickly than you might think, maybe within two, three years, something like this. So. A lot of the software, to be perfectly honest, is, is not far away. I mean, the things that we learn from the, the Gen 3 car, we can really implement it for efficiency, uh, for safety, there's many different uh, applications for the software that we're using in the, the modern EV cars. From the current gen, what technology do you see making its way into road cars the fastest? Okay, so there are a few key systems on the car. The regeneration system has a number of elements to it. So brake by wire is the most important one. Yeah. So the driver's foot, when he presses the brake pedal, he's not actually pushing the hydraulic systems on the brake. He presses, uh, he presses his foot and a potentiometer tells the computer the brake force and then the computer decides whether we have friction braking or regenerative braking dependent on the temperature of the battery or the state of charge of the battery because you can't always regenerate 100% all of the time. So the work we're doing on those regeneration systems, that's the key technology uh, and that's the stuff that's going back into the road car program. Over the years with all of the developments happening with the Gen 1, Gen 2 and Gen 3 cars, how do you think the changes in battery technology has impacted the performance of cars on track? So on track it's had a really big impact because the technology is moving so fast. So we go back only, I guess, five years of racing back to the end of Gen 1 and the product was very different, even though the overall supply was very similar. So the power was around half or around that level and the duration of the race was actually less as well. We had to change cars. So during that period, things have come on more than a factor of two. So yeah, quite impressive in that period. And then uh, we look to just do more of the same in the future. I believe. Just keep following the technology along and pushing the next stage each time. Well, first of all, we went with Gen 1, where we had two cars. Yeah. And we used to do the pit stop and come in and, cut and get out of one car and get in the other one. This was because the battery couldn't do the whole race. Then in Gen 2, we went to a car where we could do the whole race, but it was limited in time because we, we were kind of running a, a bit close to the limit on time. With the Gen 3 car, we have a smaller capacity battery than Gen 2, but we recover much, much more energy. So the focus on efficiency and on optimizing really how to use the power in the best way. So the advance in technology has been really huge in the championship and I think directly applicable to an EV road car. So talking about uh, you know, the battery technology and how energy is conserved in the car itself, so to a layman, in the simplest terms, how would you explain regenerative braking? Sure. Uh, basically, it's like turning on the uh, electrical pole backwards so that yeah. rather than driving the car, they're actually helping to slow it down. It's probably the best description. So now in Gen 3 car, we're at the point where when we brake at the end of the straight, we managed to put almost, I would say, 90% of the braking efficiency back into the, the battery. So we're becoming incredibly efficient. And, and this is something that uh, is a huge step forward on the technological side compared to the Gen 2 car. For someone who is working with an Indian team, how do you think the arrival of Formula E on Indian soil will affect India's journey to a transition towards EV electric vehicles? I hope very positively, right? So let's see how we get on this weekend, but it's great to see all the fans around already. Obviously very busy for us compared to being in the UK. The number of people around is crazy. So it's great to see and great to be here. Still curious about the inner workings of Formula E car? In our next video, we'll bring you exclusive access and a look at the behind the scenes of the Nissan Formula E team. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.